Hello and welcome back to MATLAB Tutorials. Today in video lecture 10. So in this video we want to learn how to plot a graph for an underdamped system. Before going to the coding, let's have some theory of underdamped system. So what is the damping ratio? Here it is with the figure. It says that the exposure decay frequency upon the natural frequency radians per second equals to 1 upon 2 pi. So this is the damping ratio xi. This symbol here, we can see after the comma is known as xi. Some say zeta, some say xi, but xi is more preferred. And this is the equation, most important equation for the second order function. So get this equation in your mind, stick. And second, what is an underdamped second order system? So this is important. The underdamped second order system is a common model for physical problem. It displays unique behavior that must be itemized a detailed description for an underdamped response. It is necessary for both analysis and design. So this is a theory for the underdamped system. So let's begin with the coding. I just simply copy the aim from here. Go to MATLAB, control plus M. Okay. Percentage sign, space, control plus V. Okay. CLC. Close all. Now, we, uh, if you have memorized the equation, uh, please just write down the equation, this equation, on a piece of paper. This one. Uh, I want to this equation, we want to put in our values. Okay. So, just write this equation omega n square upon s square plus 2 xi omega n s plus omega n square. Okay. So let's check back there. Okay, so in the numerator, that is n u m equals, I'll say, I'll put 15. I'll put 15 in the numerator and terminate it. And I'll put denominator, okay, square bracket open. Equals square bracket open. Okay, now you see here, I have to give the value of s square omega n and omega n. Oh, sorry, yes, s square and s value has already given omega n and omega n square. So let's see here. Here I give the value of s equals to 1, again a 1, and the omega n value as I've mentioned in the numerator 15. I'll just close the square bracket and terminate it. Transfer function PFL equals transfer function of numerator up and denominator normal bracket numerator comma denominator sorry i just yeah I'll numerator and denominator yep. bracket close terminate impulse bracket open transfer function PFL for the PFL because transfer function of numerator and denominator we have to find and we have assigned TF num comma dm to TFL. So we we'll find the impulse of TFL. TFL terminate grid on. Since it will be shown on a graph, we have to switch on the grid. We end it here. Okay. Now I'll save it here. Desktop. Like coding. MATLAB coding 00010. In fact, we have completed 10 codings. This is the 10th coding. We'll save it. Change folder. You'll see a graph. So here's the graph. This is the graph of the underdam system. See, the system starts from 0, which is 3.2 just randomly seeing 3.2 it's about 3 so that's why i'm assuming it again comes back to the origin and falls below the origin that is to the negative x-axis it goes to the minus 2.2 around and again rises towards the origin and rise a bit this time it rises less than 3 less than 2 just above that so it's a 1.4 here again it comes back to origin and dips down 
and this time it comes just below uh, below minus 2 below minus 1 so I can see 0 0.8 then it again comes to origin and I so here the cycle continues and even though you can see that you still here in the time of 10 seconds where is the time at 10 seconds the system is not stable yet there is certain changes still coming okay so now if I change the values I put here 20 I'll make the 1 as 4 and put this as 20 now I'll press F5 see as I change the value of omega n see the time has decreased and still the system is not stable yet ok so now I again change the value I put the value of 25 make that a 6 make that 25 see. as I'm, the interval of time is decreasing it's taking more time for the system to settle down here it starts from 0 goes to 2.5 dips to uh, 0 or 0 0.1 I say at 0 0.8 seconds and it still continues till 1, 1.2, 1 1.4 and 1.57 seconds still continue and touches the origin rises a bit and then goes down ok so just one more time I'll change the value here I'll just put 30 I'll put here 8 and I'll put here 30 so let's see what we get perfectly settled system here it goes to 0 just below 2.5 it gets around and dips down towards the origin goes back to the negative side of the origin negative x axis in the time in the amplitude and it doesn't get rises in above the origin see here it just continues parallel in fact say it's running on the line of the origin continues at 0 at 1.6 seconds here you can see it's 1.6 seconds mentioned clearly and it's continuous to 2 seconds so system has attained its stability in this graph it can clearly see that system is stable now so that's all in this video today so hope you guys like the video and please do like and subscribe our channel basically this damped and under system comes under the vibration which is a basic an uh, important chapter in a theory of machine for mechanical engineers sometimes you see in the control system for electrical and electronics department also in the you can see the control systems graph okay so just going be stick to our channel and we are going soon going to start the tone lectures as soon as possible by us you can visit our website, a link is given in the description below. You can check our WhatsApp group, Telegram group, etc. All the links are mentioned in the description. So that's all in this video. Hope you guys are enjoying the lecture. Thank you.